Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, you guys already know what this video is all about and some of you be like, this is again gonna be a stupid video. But trust me, I didn't make uh, the same mistake like I did in my last video. So if after you watch this video, Saroji Nagar is not gonna be confusing for you. So just watch this video till the end. Like if you, if you don't wanna watch the haul, that's all right, but make sure you watch the hacks and the lanes and the shops and every uh, specific lanes I mentioned about it. This gonna be like this might be a little confusing for you, but if you watch this video very carefully and listen to my words very carefully, then you would not feel any sort of confusion because um, I'm just gonna like go to four or five lanes and I have named those lanes so you can you do not get confused. So first of all, um, I'm just gonna let you guys know which lanes uh, are there, like which lanes are there and uh, I have like given um, like my sort of names of those specific lanes so it's easy for me to remember. So uh, from where we entered to the market, uh, that lane is called Cotton Kurti Lane because at the very beginning of the lane uh, that there is this shop called Cotton Kurti. Yeah, it's a very easy name, Cotton Kurti. Uh, so there's a shop. So I. I always call that lane Cotton Kurti Lane. After Cotton Kurti Lane, we uh, take uh, another lane which is a right lane. So we call that lane Graffiti Lane and Graffiti Lane is super 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 duper famous. The third lane which we're gonna take is uh, Big C Lane. So there's this very big ass shop in Sarojinagar, very famous, very famous. Even if you do not know where Big C is, just all you have to do is like Google it. Big C Sarojinagar Market, you're gonna get reach there just by Google Maps. So the third lane is Big C Lane. The fourth lane is like kind of new lane for me as well because you know this time I went uh, to that lane uh, that lane is Kins Lane because there is again a footwear shop called Kins K I N S it's kind of famous if, if you do not know then again google map it you're gonna get it okay so uh, I generally do not go to Kins Lane but this time I went there because you know um, I kind of like I spotted some things uh, like few things uh, you know uh, from uh, like uh, from the end of the Big C Lane because the where the Big C la Lane ends up from that point itself the kins lane starts okay so now you know i just spotted few shops having nice fofer uh, gillettes and you know fofer jackets though the winters are gone but still i just wanted to check out and show it to you guys and they had some really nice summer connection as well so i first time i went there and i kind of liked it they had some really nice denim shops which you're gonna see see everything you're gonna see okay so next and the last lane which i'm gonna tell you guys about uh it's the most exciting lane for me if you have like no time to explore big c lane just cut big c lane but big c lane has a lot of great shops as well like whatever lanes i have chosen for myself specifically and which i'm gonna tell you guys those lanes are super amazing of its own so you, you should not leave any of those lanes i must tell you even if you have been to those lanes you know those lanes because those lanes are super famous in saroji Nagar. people generally go over there but they do not actually spot great things because they do not know specific things you know so i have like spotted few uh, bigger shops and shops around you know those bigger shops so just to locate them very easily i have mentioned each and everything in that uh, voiceover in that clip so make sure you watch it till the end so uh, generally i was talking about the last lane so i always you know uh, i always uh, complete my big c lane and then again take a u-turn uh, to big c lane once again the moment i reach uh, to the very uh, you know t uh, t point i always take next lane which you're gonna see in the video and that lane is called incense lane so if you do not know the if you do not remember which what kind of mapping I'm mapping uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys in the clips so just just remember that you have to go to cotton kurti lane uh, which is just at the beginning of the market from where like you know you just have to enter uh, to the market I'm gonna show you from where you have to enter which metro station which gate exit every everything I'm gonna show it to you guys right away you just have to like go to big C lane graffiti lane and incense lane incense lane has some great things even if you want to like chuck uh, uh, you know kins lane it's all right but you gotta go these three lanes graffiti bixi and incense they have some super cool lanes so once you're done with all the lanes the last lane would lead you to the very 
beginning point from where we start okay like the cotton kurti shop yeah so it's like you know a kind of circle which we generally which i generally take so from wherever i start i end up going there only because i know the way and i only take those lanes because i know that i'm going to get great stuff in those lanes so that's about it so from here i will be start my journey of sarojini nagar sarojini nagar metro station pink line get me on exit so just in front of the gate exit you will be seeing market but this is kind of an area from where you have to walk through and then get to the market really 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 less so i'm just going to take you guys along as far as possible so just stay with me here and keep listening So the moment you end uh, your walking session uh, in that area, you'll be seeing barricades like you're able to see, and that is from where we came and reached. Yeah, that was the metro station, and you'll be seeing these kind of yellow barricades, and that's how you enter the market. Just by, just after entering the market, you have to walk straight like I'm walking here, as you can see. So you'll be able to see this shop called Cotton Kurti just at the beginning of the gully. of the lane and you just have to keep walking if you like anything you can stop by and see as you can see just beside cotton kurti shop you will find this very nice boot shop they have some really nice collection of footwear you can go by now we are walking and walking in the same cotton kurti lane yeah we're going to denote it with cotton kurti lane after walking a while you'll stop by and you'll see in the right hand of your side you'll see a very nice t-shirts shop which you're able to see right now it, they have already like a completely black collection with some quotations on the t-shirt yeah that's the place where you have to take your right turn now you're going to see the graffiti lane graffiti lane is super 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 famous so i found some really nice collection of graffiti lane but most of them were like winter collections so i didn't buy anything because winters are like almost over they had like really less summer collections so i thought of like waiting and then coming back and exploring once again the summer collection which i will show you guys till then if you want to buy winter collection you can go and have a look they have like a lot of varieties of winter collection At the very at the very end of the graffiti lane, you will find this blazer shop, and they also just in front of the blazer shop, you will find this white shirts shop. They have a lot of white shirts, and that's where the graffiti lane ends. Yeah, that is where the graffiti lane ends. Now you have to go straight, and the straight lane is called Big C because you'll be you'll be able to see the Big C shop. You're still able to see Big C Big C shop uh, in the clip. So we have to take the big C lane and keep going straight. At the very beginning, you'll find this, you know, a nice mesh top uh, shop and white shirts a shop in the big C lane. At the very beginning of the big C lane, they have some really nice collection of summer tops and summer clothes. I found some really nice things in the big C lane. Okay, but I couldn't buy anything. After walking a while, you'll find this Kamal Jewelers shop, and just beside this Kamal shop, you'll find this very, very nice uh, footwear, bags, and accessories shop. They had some like really nice thing, and this shop number is specifically is a shop number seventy one. They had some really nice, uh, you know, trending boots, belts, you know, bags. They have everything super trending and inexpensive footwear as well, like you can see here. So I loved the collection over here. Animal prints was there. Everything was there. Black bags was super 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 nice. I loved it. As I told you, this is shop number seventy one, the Kamal Jewelers Wala shop. Just in front of this shop, you. You'll find a shop where you'll get a lot of different kinds of bath gowns, as you can see here. And I also found another shop of nice footwear, and they had really nice collection as well. Now we'll be moving again in the same lane to Abrol Sons. You know what Abrol Sons is. So just in front of the Abrol Sons, you'll find a really nice shop, which is kind of a guffa, but they have really nice collection. You have to check it out. After ending this big C lane, you'll see left lane, which is the Stelto's one, the straight lane where you can find home decor's, where we guys are not going, and again the right lane, which I'm going to show you. Yeah, this is the right lane where you can find a lot of you know trending things once again, like uh, fur fur things, denim things, you know. So at this very beginning of this right lane, we will find you know uh, 
you know cot- cushion cover shop they have like a uh, um, nice uh, varieties of cushion covers and soft toys so we are going to call this lane the kins lane as i already told you guys and this lane has a lot of you know a fur fur and winter collection which i didn't buy just down below you know just below the just lady shop you will be able to see like nice uh, denim stuffs like denim shop just beside that shop yeah so they had some really cool denim shops uh, i really loved it you'll also find you know plain basic t-shirt shop and the shop number was you know 92 uh, there's no audio in the clip i'm really sorry but he said 92 and i loved it they had some si- nice summer collection but they mostly had winter collection like you were getting jackets for just 200 bucks can you even imagine that now the skins lane has ended as i'm showing you guys the kins store now we're gonna take a u-turn just from there and we're gonna come again back to the pavilion you just have to reach big c once again i'm gonna take you guys to big c once again like just from kins and then take left from the cushion uh, cushion cover shop and uh, you again reach to big c and that's that's the different lane which i'm going to take you guys and that lane is the most exciting lane i must mention this so Bixie had this Monday market going on as well and they had incredible amount of clothes lying on floor and selling just for very inexpensive rate. Just in front of Bixie I also you know saw uh, this uh, footwear shop who was selling only a, 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 like per footwear for four rupees 500 which was kind of nice. So now this is graffiti lane and now that is Bixie okay. Make sure Bixie is at your left and uh, graffiti lane is just in front obviously now you have to take this lane okay showing you uh, once again the exact location the graffiti and the big c just to make you confirm you just have to take this between wala lane okay uh, just between graffiti and uh, big c so at the very beginning of this lane which uh, we are going to call incense lane because the incense store in this lane only so at the very beginning of this lane i found this you know uh, puttery which had only velvet stuff uh, it was incredibly crazy so they always have velvet stuff it's just that one day market ko they were selling at a very low price but i couldn't uh, dig in and shop because it was uh, super 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 crowded as they were selling 25 rupees each like each piece of clothing was 25 rupees and just beside this velvet shop you'll find a blazer shop which is always there and oh my god this is incredibly crowded right so i could not take the blazer shop car clip but they had some really 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 cool blazers you have to go to this incense lane and i really personally personally loved it okay i legit loved it i think i have this uh, you know blazer thing i showed you guys but it was really short and just after blazer shop you'll see incense okay so just in front of the incense store you'll find this very quirky shop yeah that is incense and just in front of the incense store you'll find this very quirky shop which had like amazing quirky jewelry boxes bells bags for 100 bucks 50 bucks they also had frames and very crazy quirky you know a home decors i really loved it these frames for rupees you know uh i think 150 bucks and they were incredibly amazing okay now we are out of that store and now you can see Modni just beside incense and uh, again this shop like had amazing um, collection of you know uh, neutral clothes and you know uh, denims they had some really cool stuffs I personally love it there you will get some nice bralettes and everything as such now moving ahead in the incense lane okay keep moving you will find some nice uh, summery clothes and summery dresses i personally like this lane a lot because this is kind of different than other than you know all from all those lanes which you have in sarojini nagar now while moving you know in the incense lane you'll see a lot of things like a lot of things so now we spotted this shop which i'm showing you guys here this is this is called sabhyata okay just in front of Sabhyata, you'll find this shop where you'll find a lot of tote bags. But when you get inside of this shop, you'll find a lot of home decors. But, uh, you know, shooting is not allowed inside the store, so I couldn't go there. I'm sorry. But you'll find a lot of quirky things. This man blocked my clip. I'm so upset. So that's about it about, you know, that's about it for the incense lane as well. 
ICICI Bank is just at the end of the incense lane and now we'll be taking right and move ahead back to the pavilion like the main pavilion that was cotton kurti shop which was just at the beginning of the Sarojini Nagar market okay so this is kind of a tour which I generally take when I'm in you know Sarojini Nagar so I start with cotton kurti lane then go to graffiti lane and again then I go to big C lane then I go to kins lane so I always denote these lanes you know with sh main shops like the bigger shops so it's easy to locate so you just have to know that you have to explore the big C lane uh, the lane which has kins as well so that's kins lane and you know and uh, you know uh, the incense lane so now we again reached you know to the very first shop from where we started that was cotton kurti now at the very left you can see the barricades and the exit again and now you can simply go from there and you have saved your time so at the very exit point like obviously the starting point as well you'll find the shop chart wala they have incredible amazing charts i love their chart i never miss to eat so that was it for my tour i really hope that you guys liked it now we are heading back home and uh, just remember the bigger shop's name just to locate the lanes which i have talked about in this video so incense lane Big C Lane, Kins Lane and Cotton Kurti Lanes. Now that's the Sarojini Nagar once again. See, that was so quick, right? So that's about it for today's video. I really hope that I could help you guys even for a bit, okay? And I hope that you guys stayed till the end. I hope you guys are watching this right now. And I hope that you guys like, you know, uh, like this video. So if you did, then give it a thumbs up, big thumbs up and, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to my channel. I want you guys to ask me like, you know, specific things about Sarojini Nagar so I can do a Sarojini Nagar Q and A. So that's about it. I really hope that you guys like this video and you know the drill. So bye bye.